What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Cologne Podcast. What the fuck? It's my turn, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to the Cologne Podcast. My name is Mike. And I'm Ryan. And we're just two lovable idiots here in Texas. And we give our uneducated opinions on the world of fragrance. Yes. Today, Ryan. What's that? We're taking a look at Udin Overdose. That's it, huh? By Zerjoff. That's right. I do like me some jerseys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Frag Addict 123 has to say on Fragrantic. It's kind of a longer one. Okay, go for it. I can't understand what is overdose about this scent. Maybe the citrus? It starts off with a big load of citrus, mostly bergamot. Dries down to a sweeter citrus scent. I believe it's the amber working in the dry down. What I didn't like was the power of the fragrance. It was very weak for what you have to pay for it. I would have expected a solid seven to eight hours minimum, but it didn't even scratch the sixth hour. And to add to the mess of it, it doesn't project <laughs> oh, at a- damn. <laughs> yeah. It it doesn't project at all. Almost a skin scent. It's a hard pass for me. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Okay. <laughs> Good God. That is detailed AF. Oh, man. Well, Frag Addict 123 does not like this fragrance. Frag Addict, thank you for your contribution to the show by <laughs> yes. stripping down Zerjoff and spanking their little heinies. <laughs> well, before we get into any spanking, we're going to have to go back in time. One night stand review, a couple episodes back, of CH Men by Carolina Herrera. Hit the music, Todd. Yeah. One night stand review. Well, Mike... After jumping down from the top bunk <laughs> of the House of Carolina F Ferrera, whatever it's called, yeah. Herrera, yeah, what do you think about CH Men? I think there's room in the fragrance community yeah. for this fragrance, for younger people. Man, he's really trying to be well, what? I pulled did, back about it. I didn't think it was bad. Like, you were like, oh, this shit's fucking bubble gum. <laughs> you know, fucking fuck this shit. <laughs> it wasn't a bad smell. It was actually a really good smell, but it does smell so adolescent or adolescent to me. I'm just like, mm. I don't think it's that adolescent. To me, it's pretty bad. And Chris even said, look, I don't wear bunny slippers I've got <laughs> yeah. kiss slippers <laughs> and I think he was saying he does have CH men I think it works for some people I really do it does have that sweet sort of Hollister smell without the inner tube yeah. and it did last decently long maybe it's just me Mike maybe it's because I'm just a fat frumpy guy but man it just would not fit my style I think the woes of your personal life are <laughs> kind of eking their way into this <laughs> fragrance podcast Ryan, where you're just being like curmudgeon over there <laughs> it wasn't a bad smell it's a skip for me still it's still kind of generic yeah so please get it at a discount <laughs> that's all I'd have to say but if you're a younger dude let's say high school, let's say early college, I think this is a good fragrance to have that's a little bit more highbrow than, say, wearing a Hollister or something like that. Oh, that's outdated. That's for us old peeps. You know, we used to live our glory days with frosted tips and the, <laughs> you know, the hemp necklaces. You don't want to go with Jinko pants. Yeah. You don't want to go back there. I guess nobody was wearing Jinko pants. They were wearing the hemp necklace. That was more the Abercrombie and Fitch. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. They were wearing the pants with like way too many patches on them. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, oh, really God. light colored denim. I had a girl at the time, in that time of my life, you know, like early 20s. She wanted to dress me, I guess. Oh, yeah. Why do girls do that? I don't know. It's the weirdest shit. She's like, oh, you would look so great in this and had to spend like whatever 60 bucks on a pair of like pants that got more holes in it than cheese. I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck am I wearing these pants yeah, for? Yeah, she like took you to the buckle or something. Yeah, it was actually the buckle yeah. for sure. And like got me some weird shirts and shit. And I'm just like, this is not my style. Yeah. Before I knew it, I had hemp necklaces on. I had, <laughs> had freaking frosted, frosted tips. tips. <laughs> yeah, you were wearing a fucking visor like you were about I was to in go a boy band. Put nine holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The O Town. <laughs> yeah. The L Town for you. Yeah, it was definitely L Town. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a skip for me. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of talking me into a skip now. Uh, guys, don't go back there. Now, I think this is a, it's a solid choice for a younger dude. I do. It's sweet, kind of spicy, and it had decent longevity, so no big deal with that. You know what? Let's get into a little Zerge off, Ryan. Let's do it. I'm ready to just spray it up. Okay. Let's do it. Let's spray it up, y'all. 
man, I did a power move on Mike. I was just like extending my hand. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Yeah, you're like, first. give it to me. <laughs> Even though you did the last one, but you no, know, he's whatever. Keep a count. <laughs> it's the only thing I have in my life to look forward to, Ryan. Man, these new gold atomizers really kick it out. Yep. Ooh. I got to be careful not to spray my fucking injury. <laughs> yeah, since our last episode, Mike decided to almost literally take his entire finger off at the knuckle. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. I sent, I actually sent John a picture. He's jo- like, good <laughs> Lord, man, what'd you do? <laughs> I said, I was trying to get out of washing dishes for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, this is interesting to me. This is a... Man, it's an yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a trip. I do smell citrus. I don't know if I like it. Do you like it? I don't know. There's a dry agent going on in there. I don't know what that <laughs> is. Dry agent orange, maybe. It's kind of funny. It smells like cleaner to me. Hmm. It's got a real burny thing going on. Yeah, I don't know what to think of this so far. It's really taking me back, man. Do you get this vibe? Does it feel like <laughs> Burlington 1819 if you stripped all the depth from it. Oh, I get what you're saying. It does have a grapefruity type vibe, but not a and I smell some juicy that, grapefruit. Yeah, and I smell some of that tobacco whatever going on. Mm-hmm. It has that, like, Burlington has, and the people were calling it kind of B.O., but it has a real fucking gritty good stank on it, you know? It is like a, yeah, that's a grapefruit tobacco bomb. Yeah, it's like in your fucking face. This feels like if you had thrown that on and it dried down like like three hours later. It's very light. Hey, let me just take a little aside here since we had already mentioned I nearly chopped my fucking finger off. <laughs> I did it washing dishes. I dropped a bowl. <laughs> it broke. I was trying to be fucking daredevil and grab it before it hit and broke and uh, sliced my fucking finger open. Pretty damn bad. I ended up having to get four stitches. But I went to the ER and because I had cut it on a broke on broken glass, they took an x-ray to make sure there weren't any like little fragments or anything. Yeah. And the x-ray technician was like, they moved me to a waiting room that was just for x-rays. Yeah. So I was in there by myself. Sir, your finger. <laughs> I don't understand that joke, Ryan. You want to explain? <laughs> anyway, so they take you to the next room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so I'm in the waiting room and she comes in. I'm the only one in there and she goes, I think it's your cologne, but you smell incredible. Damn. And I was wearing ombre leather. Dang. Yeah, baby. That's a pretty juicy story. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this fucking long walk for a short drink of water is what it was. And then they gave you the x-ray and kicked you out with a bill worth four grand. No, it was $800. <laughs> but uh, How'd that feel? <laughs> it felt like a kick in my noodle. <laughs> Speaking of kicks in your noodle. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't either. I feel like, wow, for this price, this is not good at all to me. Oh, yeah. Well, hit me up with the price. What is it? It's $295 for a 50 M. <laughs> Yeah, for 50 ml of this. Good God. 300 bones for a 50 mil. And what's funny is like one of the reviewers, we didn't read it, but one of the reviewers was saying it actually, and this is unisex, by the way, but they were saying it leans more masculine. I can see that. I don't. I feel like it leans more feminine. To me, it just smells like fucking cleaner. It smells like a room cleaner or a floor cleaner. It's weird. I don't like this. I mean, I don't like it. I got to be real with the listeners because if they can't detect a hint of bummery going on, (laughs) things have not been great. (laughs) And I will leave it at that. (laughs) But the gentle fraying of life has unraveled my tapestry quite a bit. (laughs) So, this episode <laughs> is one of a man who's a little down on his luck. Man, you know what I was just thinking about? This is so off subject. People were like, man, just tell us what the fucking shit smells like. Yeah, we did. It smells like cleaner. Keep yeah. going. Anyway, so, it smells like cleaner. But anyway, um, it, we had a comment left on our Cologne podcast. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Young lady definitely <laughs> wanted to point out the fact that- uh, You giggle too much? Yes, apparently I laugh too much, but I can't help it because this dumb bastard makes me laugh all the time. I try not to. 
Yeah, you should have heard him in the car on the way home. I forget what joke I threw out, but you <laughs> nearly spit your fucking drink out. Was it the glasses thing when you took your glasses off? I'm no, 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 no. This that. was on the drive home today. Oh, God. Well, what was it? <laughs> I don't think it's for radio here, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was uh, about the job <laughs> yeah. job interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to get real close friends to us if you want to hear that story, but... Uh, but, yeah, this lady here wrote that, and then, of course, Mike, being the cheeky bastard that he is, he went over there, and he was just like, it's Ron's dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. And then they deleted their comment, man. Did they really? Yeah, I think we Oh, man. Hey, if you hear this, and you're the young lady who left that first off my apologies for laughing all the time i really am in real life. don't you dare apologize for that right <laughs> i'm a goofy bastard that's just all there is to it and there's something about the two of us we like having a good time yeah that's what this is about it is but hey no shame in her pointing that out and I'm most glad people she- consider it a plus I- in fact we just had a conversation with a friend of the podcast mr mo yeah and one thing that he said was he said i always love putting it on he's like i listen to it whenever I'm walking and he's like people are looking at me weird because I'm laughing but it's because Ryan's laughing and Mike's cracking jokes so I think it's a bonus yeah I think so too but I do want her to know that we did get that message and I don't think anything ill will of it because I don't know if she you know deleted it because of you comment or whatever and maybe felt bad but don't feel bad I'm glad you voiced your opinion that's what we're here for yeah we're having fun with this we can take shots we're fucking big boys okay (laughs) All right, back to this shit show of a fragrance. Yeah, who's wearing this, Ryan? Well, definitely somebody that I would say you've got a lot of money. You walked into a mall and just some random teenager working in the middle of one of those kiosks just happened to swindle you into buying something like this. Oh, see, I thought you were going to go with (laughs) they swindled you into cleaning your shoes because this (laughs) smells like that shoe cleaner. It is. It's something. Dude, it smells like that fucking foaming shoe cleaner. This shit, it's it's all right. I just threw the card. I'm so we were really hyped on this one too. We were like, oh, man, man, I thought this was a fucking badass fragrance. I was really hyped to do it because technically this is not our first Zerge off because we've had a couple of random sample bags or at least one. We did have one. We had the juicy fruit smelling one. We didn't do Neo or Renaissance, so that wasn't a, that wasn't a random sample by chance. Did we do? I don't think we did those. I don't know. It's been a hundred something. I don't know. But anyway, we're, we're so old really men. hyped. We're hyped about this one. Yes. And eh, it I mean, honestly, I, we've definitely have smelled some designer stuff that you could get at Dillard's right now that blow the freaking socks off this. And this just blows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. It's a hard blow for Mike. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like this is a fucking throwaway episode. I'm sorry, guys and okay. gals. I kind of want to see, hopefully it does something to dry down, but this opening is just, meh. It's it's too bad because we have smelled Neo off the air, been to the scent room of smelled Neo. Yeah. Good God. I love that. I mean, I know it kind of got ruined for you, but I still think I came back around to it. And I love Renaissance as well. We haven't done episodes on either one of those. We're going to. Yeah. The funny thing is we get just, we had a day of getting our ass kicked. (laughs) Yeah. And so we said, let's go in and let's just do one for us. Let's (laughs) grab us a fragrance that we're excited to smell. (laughs) I got to stop him because- we were getting back and we were going, man, which one should we do today? I said, yeah. man, let's do the uh, one for Homeboy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. For mine called Slow Explosions. <laughs> yeah. Slow Explosions. Like, let's fucking do it. And Mike was the one was like, no, this one's for us, Ryan. I told you I've had a fucking day. I nearly lost my goddamn finger, Ryan. <laughs> he had like a one single teardrop. He was like, man, uh, we're doing this one for us. I was like, all right, cool. So we were excited and now we're let down. We probably should have listened to Michael and done his episode first. We should have. And look, sometimes in life you do need to be a little selfish and do and do one for you. You know, we have been talking about being selfish for a while. And guys, especially for you young cats out there, be selfish in life. Yeah. You may appear to be an asshole to people, (laughs) but guess what? When you're older, you're going to be a much more completed human being. My argument was (laughs) the happier you are, the better version of yourself you're going to be. Absolutely. That's kind of me. When I'm in my happiest spot, I feel like... I'm the best version of myself. And a lot of times you think, oh, man, I can't say no to that or I really should be doing this. And you make it a bigger obligation to yourself than probably the other party makes it out to be. Mm -hmm. So there's a life lesson for you there. Selfism. (laughs) 
Yeah. Uh, commit to it. <laughs> I just think we should be trying to squeeze more out of life. Yes. And we're too busy putting out fires for everybody else. In the meantime, our own fucking house is burning down. Exactly. It's a good analogy. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we should skip it, sample it, buy this motherfucker, you know? Yeah. So skip it. Sample it. Buy it. What are you going to do, Ryan? I'm absolutely going to skip it because it's <laughs> trash. I'm not saying it's trash, but it I straight be. up smells like Foot Locker foaming shoe cleaner. I can't believe they charge two ninety five for that, man. That's rough. That's rough. I guarantee you what probably would happen is, I bet you if we fucking laced up on this bad boy and went into town, somebody standing three, four foot away would go, oh, you smell great. Yeah. That's probably the reason why I should pull back and not be so harsh is because we are putting our nose literally on top of this fragrance. Yeah. Well, I guess the other part of it too is like, whenever I've like am really trying to give my opinion on these, it's really just from my perspective. I try to think of other people would like it. But yeah. for me, I absolutely cannot like something like this. If I smell this on somebody, I'd be like, mm -mm. If somebody said, hey, what do you think of this smell? Didn't tell me what it was. Yeah. And then stuck it up to my nose, I would be like, no. It's got the Mason Margiela DNA thing happening to me. It's got this little tinge dinginess or something. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. We smelled one fucking Mason Margiela <laughs> fragrance, and now you're like an expert on it. <laughs> Good God. I don't know. Well, there you go. It's a skip from both of us. A hard skip at that. It's been a while since we've had such a negative episode, but yeah. people did get a kick out of it whenever we were fucking crashing and burning for a few episodes. So yeah, there you, you go. Yeah. If you like, if you like negative episodes, this is the one. Fuck this fragrance. I don't we like came this. into it with a bad position already <laughs> and then it being a shitty fragrance. <laughs> what I thought would have elevated today has now pulled it down deeper into the depths. <laughs> yeah. yeah, What for a sure. fucking letdown. Zerjoff, come on, man. There are a few great fragrances you guys make. This not being one of them. Yeah, they made even the one that we weren't like crazy about, but was still interesting. The one that smelled like juicy fruit. I mean, that one smelled really cool. This one. Nope. Yeah, can't get behind it. Nope. All right. If you enjoy episodes like today. Shitty ones. You know, really, really shitty ones where me and Mike have come in from a depressive state for some reason and the world's kicking us in the tuna cans. <laughs> <laughs> Put the recreational cans up, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, make sure to go to thecolonepodcast.com and, you know, hit us up. Let us know. Write us an email or you can buy us a coffee. Yes, Michael, I'm sorry that we skipped Slow Explosions. I wanted to do something for myself today, man. I'm sorry. Michael, I apologize for Michael over here. <laughs> <laughs> His uh, birth given name over here. <laughs> but uh, next episode is for you, buddy. I promise. That's right. It's going to be explosive. <laughs> All right, everybody. Spray, Spray it up, y'all. <laughs> God, what a shit show of a fucking episode. Dude, absolutely terrible. <laughs>